Nepal faces many environmental challenges, such as earthquakes and landslides, and is one of the countries heavily influenced by the effects of global warming. While people attempted to utilize new technologies after the 2015 Nepal earthquake, the response was poorly planned and executed. The main challenge is the need for local capacity, not only for using drones, but for all types of robotic technologies. So the last week has really been an incredible experience out here in Nepal. Together with uh, our flying labs uh, coordinator Utam Pudasaini, we were out in the far reaches of the Nepalese mountains, trying to apply drones to different uh, situations and see how we can use aerial imagery to, uh, to really have a strong social impact. Nepal is a multi-hazard prone country and disasters like flood and landslide, they are quite common in Nepal. Having a flying lab in Nepal helps to build the local capacity to use technologies like drones that are quickly deployable at the time of disasters. So when there is a disaster, we can quickly deploy this kind of technologies and help in better disaster response. We are doing faster disaster response in order to save more lives immediately after the disasters. There, in one of these areas, we saw a huge landslide that was created in, over the last few years and gotten worse due to the earthquake. Many people have lost their agricultural lands. Many villages are at risk right now of being taken by this landslide. Uh, the UAV, uh, it has a lot of potential in the initial stage of the emergency, like in uh, damage assessments, uh, um, search and rescue, and so on. So the goal of one of these projects was to map the landslide using drone technology, one of the biggest landslides in Nepal, and then work with geologists to make a threat risk map and to see how it will affect the agricultural land and the homes of the people and the communities around the landslide in case we need to help with relocation or help with compensation due to any landslide damage. So in, through this project we are also exploring how this could support the ongoing reconstruction that is going in, the, in Nepal and how it can um, better uh, serve the local communities in, in case of disaster reduction and make them more resilient. Robotics in Nepal do not end at mapping drones. Using drones for medical deliveries in hard to reach areas or using marine robotics to predict glacial lake outburst floods are both examples. We Robotics and Nepal Flying Labs are committed to applying appropriate robotic solutions to such use cases to create social good in Nepal.